Delegate Michael Sinicholas is struggling to swim out of hot water. In June 2020, the U.S. House Ethics Committee announced its unanimous vote to establish an investigative subcommittee. In a statement to KUAM through Facebook Messenger, the delegate told us then, this is just a part of the process that we are required to go through in order to disprove the allegations made against us. The delegate turned gubernatorial hopeful with the signature cotton candy campaign, dismissing the investigation, could now find that reassurance dissolving. Over the weekend, the House Ethics Committee unanimously concluded that there was substantial evidence that he accepted improper, excessive campaign contributions, engaged in a conspiracy to hide the proceeds of the illicit campaign contributions, knowingly caused his campaign committee to file false or incomplete reports with the Federal Election Commission, and attempted to improperly influence a witness in connection with this committee's investigation. The who, what, where, and how are now clear in the over 200 pages chronicling the activity. The focus turns to when it all happened during his time in office. The committee report is extensive and highlights some of these dates. San Nicholas's campaign manager said that after Guam's primary election on August 25, 2018, the delegate was having difficulty raising money for the general election. A later conversation with San Nicholas, the campaign manager, and a friend and donor to his campaign committee revealed that the congressman wanted a $10,000 donation in cash. Those separate cash installments likely first occurred on or around September 5, 2018, and the second occurred on October 5, 2018. In September 2019, San Nicholas's former campaign manager made several allegations about his conduct during the 2018 congressional campaign. On September 16, 2019, the Office of Congressional Ethics, or OCE, began a preliminary review of allegations related to campaign expenditures. On October 15, 2019, the OCE started a second phase review. In October 2019, Delegate Michael Sinicholas was notified of the committee's investigation and was given a chance to respond to the allegations and later challenge the committee's authority to address the delegate's conduct before he was sworn into Congress. On February 10, 2020, the OCE recommended more review of the allegations. On June 12, 2020, the committee unanimously voted to impanel an investigative subcommittee. On May 20, 2021, the re-impaneled ISC reviewed over 5,000 pages of material and conducted 11 witness interviews. And later, on April 29, 2022, the ISC met for the delegate's compulsory deposition, but San Nicholas was a no-show. Now it appears the congressman is turning to the media for FaceTime over Facebook to address the allegations directly in a scheduled press conference on Tuesday. Tomas Maglonia for KUAM News.